Happy Friday, Facebook friends. Theme of the week this week is dealing with anxiety and the fear behind anxiety. Anxiety is, I think, of the fight, flight, or freeze response, and it's often an internal response. People can become uh, aggressive or want to run out of the room or um, they can shut down and not want to talk at all which is an indicator that there's anxiety happening, an uncomfortable feeling, and it's described best, I think, as unexperienced fear. The feeling right before fear on the spectrum of feelings. If you're afraid, you know what you're afraid of. If you're anxious, there's something physically wrong, it doesn't feel comfortable, but you're not necessarily sure why or what is going on. So, in counseling my clients about fear, I'm sorry, about anxiety, I ask them the inevitable question, what is your biggest fear? What are you afraid of? People will often push back and say, I don't want to say that. I can't talk about it. But when they do, then we can take it apart and we can find out if the fear is rational or if it's irrational and maybe an emotional-based fear of something related to something in the past or something like that. So what I'm saying is once we can care front the fear Behind anxiety, it makes it easier for us to focus. When I first started my private practice, before I started it, I was very scared. I, I didn't know why I was so anxious. I couldn't kind of do it. I couldn't uh, quit my job and, and just start my practice because I was so afraid. I was anxious and I was paralyzed with fear. And uh, I was talking to someone about this and they said, you're afraid because you don't want to disappoint your parents. That's why you're so anxious. That's your fear. And they were right. So I hope I haven't disappointed my parents. By the way, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I hope you're proud of me. Um, I hope all the mothers this weekend have a great Mother's Day. Um, confront those fears if there's anxiety because oftentimes I think our fears are irrational. Um, have a great week, everybody. I'll see you next week.